Did you know that there is actually a way that you can block code inside of Roblox Studio? Now this plugin allows you to block code on Roblox Studio and makes coding super easy for beginners and those starting out with coding. In addition to that, it also may actually help you learn how to code as it displays and turns the block code into real working Lua Roblox code. And a lot of appreciation goes out to the developer of this plugin, XSticky, so thank you very much to them. And I would like to add that there is a quick disclaimer that to use this plugin you do have to pay 150 Robux. This video isn't sponsored, but I would actually highly recommend it, as I think if you are a beginner starting out with coding, that 150 Robux, what, only £1.50 is going to be really worth it. So what you need to do is head to the first link in the description, and that will take you to this post. And then from here, you can click on install here. Okay, and then from here, you'll be able to buy the plugin. So once again, I think the plugin's around 150 Robux, 100 Robux, and it's completely worth it. Now, once you've installed it, it's time to head into Roblox Studio, and I'll show you what this plugin is capable of. Okay, so here we are inside of Roblox Studio, and let's start off by opening a basic base plate. Now, once we're inside, we're actually gonna go through the procedure of downloading the Roblox plugin. So once you've loaded into the game, you need to open your toolbox, that's going to be here in home on toolbox, just open it up, and then in marketplace you'll typically spawn in on models, change it over to plugins. Then let's make sure we search for the right plugin and not any fake plugins, so let's copy the name, visual scripting plus, okay here it is, here's the proper one, as you can see we have a check mark, and you can see it is by X sticky. make sure the username's right, and then from here you can click on install. Then let's wait for it to install, and it has been installed successfully. Now let's head over to our plugins, and you can see that I have quite a lot of plugins. You can see that there's actually a toggle plugin. So let's make a super simple system that will actually work as a kill pot by using this plugin. You'll have to have a basic understanding of scripting, just like if you were to do scratch or something, and I'm sure you all remember doing scratch in primary school. This is basically just this, just the version for Roblox. So now with this part, we're going to click on it, then we're going to click on script, and now instead of typing in here, let's head back over to our plugins toolbar and click on toggle. Okay, and you can see this little arrow appears. Then make sure you're selecting the script and open the drop down. You can see that the selected script is not a block lure script, so let's convert it to a block lure script. Okay, and then here we are. Now on our left, you can see that we have all of these blocks and those are a lot of blocks and I know that it is constantly growing so once again I'm pretty certain you're going to get constant updates from this. Now let's have a look at one of our blocks. Okay and let's get started by making a simple kill part. Let's head over to touch by character and drag it out and as you can see instance touch by character underscore touch part blah blah blah. So in instance we actually need to put an instance so it does tell you the data type and if we search for instance we can actually get the data type drag it into here and let's select our instance. So please select an instance from the explorer and let's click on the part because that's what we want our kill part to be. And already we have a simple system. Now when killing someone you do need to get their humanoid. So let's see humanoid, oh get humanoid from a model. Okay, drag that into here. And then our character model is actually going to be the variable. So let's look for variable. Okay, and as you can see, the variable is defined up here, and it's called underscore touched character. Okay, and then it sets, so it's saying humanoid, get humanoid from model, and it's going to set the touch character to the humanoid. And then what we're going to do is set health, and then we're going to say, okay, so it needs a variable here, so let's search for the variable. And as you can see, above we define the variable underscore humanoid. We're going to pass it, and then let's set the health to a number. Let's search for the number... Uh, that's not it, there it is. And then let's set this to zero. And you can see this is already so simple and what we can do is click on save. And then a super cool system is if you click on this orange thing, it actually shows you what the equivalent Roblox lure code would be. And also if we actually open the script, you can see that it has all been properly coded into our script. Also, if it asks for script permissions, make sure to allow it. Now let's head into our game and make sure this works. So we're gonna click on play. Okay, we're gonna load in. Where's our part? Here it is, let's touch it. <coughs> and we die. Simple as that. And it's a super cool system that we can make using Roblox. 
So I thought this was just a really quick, cool demo of this plugin. I mean, there's a lot you can do with it. Like, look at all these blocks. There's data stores, functions, leader stats, servers, clients. You can pretty much do most of the basic stuff with this plugin. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you do want to help support me and making more videos, you can become a channel member by clicking on join down below. If you have any questions about scripting or plugins or want to just talk with our community, head over to forms.thecookie.dev. Thank you for tuning in. That's all for me and bye bye.